Hello, Homeworthy. This is Tatiana. Welcome to my home. You're watching Homeworthy, where we believe every home has a story. Like and subscribe for more. Hello, my name is Tatiana De Nicolai and I work mainly with watercolor. I'm an illustrator and you're here in my home today in Paris in the 16th district. We live here with my husband since uh, a couple of months and my little dog, it's a poodle. We, we just moved in in November and we've renovated the flat in eight months. So here we are. So I started drawing when I was really young, just as a hobby. My mother was a designer. She used to work for Pierre Cardin, Louis Ferro in the 70s. So at home, she always had a huge desk with a lot of paint brushes and watercolor, crayons, pastels. So I was initiated really early. And we used to do that on vacation um, during my childhood all the time. I just loved it. And eventually my dream was to do the Beaux-Arts, but I wasn't able to, so I went for economics instead which was useful. And, um, and then I just learned it by myself um, and practiced. And as everything, you just need a lot of experience. So eventually I managed to uh, work for myself uh, four years ago. And uh, now it's been an incredible journey and I'm so grateful. So this flat was owned by a lady who wouldn't live there for 10 years. Uh, so it was in a very bad state. She didn't do any works for more than 50 years. So everything was to be redone, especially the bathrooms, the kitchen, etc. We didn't touch to anything on the structures of the apartment, just the one of the bathrooms just to make it bigger. Um, but the rest, we, we just took it as it is. So it's an Osmanian building with uh, the moldings, the uh, parquet, which is very typical from uh, these buildings back in the days. Uh, the um, fireplaces and and everything that we loved so we just had to refresh it and yeah obviously do all the plumbing and electricity which is not that fun but then the decorating part was the most amazing um, challenge with the carpenter um, and we designed these wood panels behind me that remind me of a garden and that was the initial point to start with the decoration of the flat to make it feel like a garden, a tropical one, um, which reminds me of all my travelings that I did when I was younger. I lived in Egypt, in Morocco, in Argentina, in India, and all of that supposedly um, influenced this flat, I guess. And I just wanted to have a feeling when I come in this home that doesn't feel like France and Paris, even though you can still have this feeling with the, the architectural background of the flat, but just have this um, feeling of tropical and palms and beautiful wallpapers that you'll see later. We're in the entrance here. We didn't want to put too many things and objects, so it's quite uh, neutral. We have two big cupboards that we had made with these little decorations that I actually got inspired from in a trip in, in uh, Seville. And again, we had some mirrors put here and here just to give a bit of um, more space and light it just gives you a uh, an aspect of more depth and here we have two columns um, also made out of mirror which i find beautiful and these parrots with fake um, fake candles that is always more convenient and i actually found them a couple of years ago when i used to you know live in different countries in flats that I did not own or rented. I didn't want to bring in uh, furniture that I had bought. So I was buying it little by little and I had it all stored at my parents' place. And when we finally got our own place here, I actually had a lot of things already and decided to put them here and there. So they were not bought specifically for here, but I just found the place and I think they go well here. And here we have a little bench that reminds me again of gar uh, benches that you find in gardens, especially in England. And this one was also a wedding gift. It's in, uh, in very, very heavy uh, metal. I'm going to show you the living room. Come and follow me. 
in our flats, we basically have everything that comes from either flea markets or auction houses or websites where you find things from second hand or objects as well that we got from our family members uh, who gave them to us or didn't want them anymore. So I always find fun to say that the only thing that is new in our flat are probably our mattresses and our beds and the rest is um, found here and there. I really have a passion for flea markets, for you know, finding the gem here and there that reminds me of traveling or places. Typically in Venice two weekends ago, we found a flea market and I couldn't hold myself and I bought you know, a little souvenir that I use for my, um, my, um, my dinners. And it's just nice to have these memories of places, of people. And this is how we mainly decorated our flats. So this is a wallpaper that we got for our wedding as a gift. We were so lucky. It's from a brand called XL. They're based in London and Istanbul. It's all painted by hand by miniature painters in Jaipur. And it's called the D-Dream. D for Dimona, who's the designer. And dream because it's really a fantasy wallpaper. It doesn't make sense altogether because as you can see, here you have a little pheasant close to a monkey. It would never happen in a normal environment. And it's the same for the trees, the palm trees, the birds, but it just feels so beautiful and so exotic. And basically what we wanted to do is because we've had these moldings before when we bought the flat, they were white on white. And we thought, why not put wallpaper inside just to have the effect of looking through a window. So we bought the wallpaper as a panorama. Um, and it really feels like you're looking at something through windows. I think it's, uh, it's beautiful. And they made it slightly um, crackled. I don't know if you say that in English, but it's just fake. It's just, it's just a manner of making it old and uh, yeah, it's beautiful. So here we found a fun idea to have our portraits of my husband and I, and we thought it was fun to have them a little bit discreetly behind the doors. Um, we love animals again, so they're here. <laughs> so here we have a couple of um, furniture that I got from uh, our grandmothers with my, um, with, with my husband. This one, for example, is the same as the one behind. It was completely ruined and no one wanted them. We decided to give them a second life and um, we reshaped them and uh, decided to put this velvet green to make it more cozy. Here we have um, two other sofas that I found in an auction house in Belgium and I recovered them as well in this beautiful yellow just to echo the colors of the moldings and also these beautiful chairs. This is a beautiful lamp that I got from my grandmother. Um, it's from Tommaso Barbie in the 1960s and um, it just fits very well here as it has this shape of a leaf, it's beautiful. And here we have a lamp that we got from uh, our best friends for our wedding. It has the shape of a palm tree, so again, it's just in the theme and it's green, so it's perfect. It's very original. So this sofa here was actually my grandmother's bed. She used to sleep in it in her 10 last years of her life in Paris. She had an apartment Rue du Bac and um, it has been covered with a fabric from Braconnier. Braconnier, which is now part of Pierre Frey, and it's a pattern that they don't re-edit anymore, sadly, um, but it's one of the historical ones that they're very proud of, and they actually modernized it in much more vibrant colors nowadays, like in yellow and pink and blue, but this is one of the colors that I love the most, and I think it got us, you know, to inspire this, uh, this decoration for our home. We really love it and it's a great piece of memory from my grandmother. These are beautiful Sicilian um, testa di moro, as we call them. They're beautiful, they're not that heavy, but they're made all of ceramics and hand painted. They come from um, near Palermo in a little village called, um, uh, oh my God, I'm gonna remember. But they, they just look so elegant and it's the wife and the, the wife and the man together as a pair. And I thought it reminded me of us both as we got it on our honeymoon. <laughs> so these two chairs that are facing each other 
are my favorite tiger chairs. I found them recently um, through a friend of mine who bought them in India. I spotted them first in a little hotel and I thought to myself, this is what I need at home. It would just match perfectly the tropical vibe we have. So um, they were in a beautiful little hotel and I found the artisan who was making them in Udaipur. And um, he eventually told me that he didn't have any, but um, after a while I found them through a friend. And I love the fact that it's very old and the paint is coming off. I think this is what makes it very unique and beautiful. This is what I like about old objects is that you don't want to give them uh, a new patine or a new color. It's just the way it is. It's beautiful this way. I couldn't find the pair easily. I would find identical ones, but not the ones facing each other, which I think was, um, was essential to have them facing each other. So one day on Instagram, I found someone who was selling them and it just came from Portugal, but originally they're from Udaipur. I think what makes our home um, different and unique with a soul is that um, I tried to break most of what I have been through in my life with my traveling and my experiences abroad. Um, I think you can find things from everywhere. I have um, little objects from India, from, um, from Morocco, from all my previous um, lives abroad because I've been traveling for five years before settling really in London, before coming here. And I think it's just a mixture of old and new. Old in the sense, um, things that were family objects as well. I have a lot of um, furniture that comes from my grandmother, from my husband's family. And I always wanted to give them a second life, even if they were completely ruined. Um, I just had to give them a little, uh, a little, <laughs> punch and it just gave them a new life and also new not new in the sense um, buying new things because I think the only new things we have in this flat are our beds but buying um, new things in apps that are like Le Bon Coin or Celency which are secondhand objects so I think this is what makes it mostly exciting. Initially, the room was divided in two with a wall and big doors. We wanted to get rid of all that to create a sort of, still to create a separation, but with a wall of plants, which makes it more natural. And to keep this room more like an intimate room where we can read on Sundays, watch our movies and be more calm. And there it's more for our friends when they come and have dinner. So this is a typical um, wooden structure called les tris that you find in French gardens that usually are made, you know, to, to plant roses at the bottom and they help them, it helps them grow uh, towards the top. And I've seen this all my childhood in my mom's um, garden in Belgium. So I wanted to have this here. It's not usual, obviously, to have it indoors, but I found it just like a decorative idea and it's green, obviously, like my favorite color. And it does have this sense of garden and of separation with these palm trees just right here. My first job in London was um, at Cabana magazine and I was um, asked to design um, a collection of plates. So we are missing quite a few, but these are um, a good example. It was called the Persia collection and it was um, displayed at the Burlington Arcade in London. So this is the charger, the main plate and the dessert plate. And it was inspired by ornamental you know, details from Persian um, aesthetics. So yeah, that was quite a while ago, but I like to hang them on the wall. So here we had this uh, built in to have a little cozy place. Um, also, usually the dog sits here. I like spending my Sundays at Marché Saint-Pierre, which is a huge market for fabrics and everything. You can find whatever you want. And I made these um, velvet uh, little details on this fabric, which reminds me of leopard. So it's, it's still tropical, but it's green. So it doesn't remind too much of the animal. And I make these myself with the little pom-poms and find these fabrics there as well. It's just a great uh, thing to do on Sundays. Here I have a collection of coffee table books, as we call them, um, but they're especially an inspiration to my drawings. So I'll show you one of them. They're absolutely beautiful. They're a recollection of uh, birds. And as I draw many birds, you can really find these beautiful, 
beautiful birds. And it's important for me to have these botanical inspiration for my drawings. So I always seek these beautiful books. Here we have our library because we love to read, especially my husband. We wanted to mix it with little objects. These are a little monkey collection from my grandmother in ceramics that she gave me um, here and everywhere. We also pull down the screen to watch some movies sometimes. And here we have, as usual, some furniture that comes from auction houses. These are beautiful heads of animals um, that are made out of copper. And the vase from Vincent Daré that I helped him to make while he did a collaboration with a brand called Oka in UK. Let me walk you through the dining room. So here we are in the dining room. Here we're in our favorite room in the apartment is the place where we had a crush when we first visited it. And um, we absolutely love this gray cream color that is married with this uh, blue, bleu céladon green color. We think it's very nice to keep the effect of the, um, the old, not to renovate it so much. That's why we kept it as it is. And I think it lived through everyone's lives and past tenants here because it's been made to measure to fit this room. So um, when they, the agency told us that they would take off the wall panels to, um, to put them somewhere else, we were so disappointed and we didn't want to, to buy the flat anymore. And in the end, after negotiations, we managed to keep them and we're so happy about it. It's really a charming and um, safe place here where our guests feel so comfortable. Here I always play with different table settings. So um, I change always the color of the napkins, of the table sets, of the tablecloth. And I play with what I, found at the, I find at the florist. So depending on the season, I choose the flowers. Now we have peonies. Um, this is gar garlic flowers. I love putting huge flowers here in, um, in these beautiful vases that I found in an auction house in Belgium. And I think green and blue always work well together with white, obviously. So as I'm not a great um, cook, I always put everything in the decoration so my guests can forget about what they're eating for a while. <laughs> so here I like to mix uh, blue and green and white, which I think are colors that go very well together. I chose to have these little bowls for starters, which are from a glass, well, crystal manufacturer called Val Saint Lambert in Belgium. They make these of every color. I have them in blue, I have them in yellow, and they're perfect for a little starter. And these plates come from uh, my husband's grandmother. They're called Oiseau du Paradis, Bird of Paradise. And you have them for every plate, every bowl, every serving plate. They're beautiful, they're hand-painted. Now you can still buy them actually at the Gien uh, manufacturer, which is in Burgundy. And um, they just remind us of Pierre's grandmother. She was so kind to give them to us. I always play with these table mats that come from Casa Lopez. It's a store in Paris. They have them in every color. They're very easy to use and they give them a, a bit more fun to the table. I also have these bread plates that I made for my wedding with our initials and the date. They're made of porcelain and I find them very easy to use for bread and they, they're a great memory of our wedding. This lamp is a great um, gift from a friend of mine. They're made in near Rome by an artisan and they're actually two lamps that I've put on top of each other. And you can actually continue to build them up like this. I chose those colors. You can choose everything you want. I wanted to have this yellow for, the, um, for our living room and this, uh, this color for, to remind here. So I'm really happy about it and you can really move it easily. It's so light and it's, called, um, it's from a brand called Parana Studio. They're handmade in Rome. I think I started off by thinking about the green color, which is my favorite color. It's um, a color that I use very frequently in my drawings because I actually mainly draw animals, flowers and um, foliage. So 
And that's the predominant color in nature. So I started off with green. And I think when you like something, you know, and you work with crushes, I th I'm just thinking about when you buy things, it always seems to go together, even if it's so different. Here we're in the corridor. It's a typical corridor of 16 meter long that you can find in these Osmanian uh, buildings. They're usually quite dark and quite sad and very narrow. So I wanted to find a way to, first of all, make it larger. So that's why on the left hand side, I put mirrors all the way down just to have a duplication, as we say, of, uh, of this wallpaper that I made um, specifically for, for this flat. It's 16 meters long by two meters high. And it also represents everything I love, which is nature, animals, palm trees, and obviously the green color. Every door has a frame of these uh, wooden structures, you know, that we find in French gardens called les trilles. And I've had them painted all around each door, which makes it a bit more grand, I guess. So I wanted to give a bit of warmth uh, with this warm light in this corridor. And I found these, uh, they're very decorative. They were not scones. I had them made into scones. Uh, and they're just leaves that remind me also of, uh, you know, tropical environments. So here I have made a carpet of 16 meters long with the scalloped edges. I think it's nice to have these scalloped edges that um, really break the fact that this corridor is so linear. And um, I've made it in collaboration with Jaipur Rugs, which is an amazing company in Jaipur. We're continuing a collaboration for next year with a collection of seven rugs. So this was a first start. And I think the color is quite bold, pinkish. Um, it wouldn't suit everyone, but I think it gives a lot of joy and a lot of uh, happiness to this corridor. Here we wanted to have this little guest bathroom to open like a like like a cupboard basically because it's more convenient and we just decided to put um, a little fontaine uh, which is not that typical usually it's maybe meant to be outside in gardens so this was one of the challenges that i found during our our works because they didn't really want to put this here they thought it was quite difficult the fact that it was in a corner and they didn't know how to fix it to the wall and they used to recommend me some normal, normal water basins that you find in every store that are square or rectangular. But I was so, um, I really wanted to have this one here. And I think it's so charming. It just reminds me of Provence in the south of France. And here, a little recollection of some tiny little frames that I make a collection of. I don't have so many, but the plan is to have the whole wall covered. And there are pictures of us, pictures of our family, pictures of things we like, so it's nice. I'll show you around our bedroom. So our bedroom is this, um, we started off with this color. Why did we choose this color? Because it's a bit, a pinkish, uh, pinkish red color. So I found this Suzani in Jaipur again when I was traveling there a year ago. And I thought the grenades was a beautiful symbol for love and for the fact that this is our bedroom and it's, um, we got married recently. So I, I started off with the color of these grenades. I think it's, it's great to start off with something for a room. So this was my point where I started off. And I wanted our room to be also a little bit calm and not with too many patterns and colors. So I just went for, for a decoration of these moldings with the same color that you can find here again. I painted those myself on Sundays, on weekends, and also these little collection of uh, birds that I bought in India. So they also have this red color that I find very reassuring and calming. This is uh, the dog's favorite spot. And here we have two lamps that I bought also on La Redoute. Very simple lamps, but yet they're beautiful. And I think it's nice for us young people to find um, beautiful objects in very affordable uh, 
places as well. Also on a wall uh, console, which I thought was nicer to keep some space for the bedside table with a carafe and some books. So I thought it was nice to have here on this wall console that I found in Belgium in an auction house um, something else than maybe what you usually find, which are porcelain um, little objects. And these vases are, these vase buds are just beautiful. You can put whatever you want inside. It's a bit difficult to change, uh, but I think it's fun. Here we have um, the bathrobes that I design. They're made out of my own drawings, hand painted, and they actually are the same ones that you find on my wallpaper. So I think it's nice to have a wallpaper designed with the same illustrations that I have on my bathrobes. Um, they are made of velvet and silk, pure silk. So these are what I make. So here I added also a little bit of color. I thought the yellow, because it's not that sunny always, always in Paris, I thought with, it, with the light it just gives that aspect that you would have some sun inside. So I thought it was really nice to have this bright yellow and also the tiles I designed these tiles um, myself I thought I loved the terracotta star with the green color again and it reminds me of maybe Morocco I lived in Casablanca for a few years and um, it just felt like a little bit like a Moroccan um, bathroom and these are some sconces that I found also on an app called Sedency they sell a bit of everything. It's called the, the brocante en ligne. And um, I just find that gold always, well, gold, gold leaf or something similar gives, uh, gives so much light as well. I think my style in interior design is very colorful, quite bold, um, eclectic and maximalist. So in the sense that I would put colors and patterns and stripes and, you know, everything together. Um, also mixing old and new in the sense um, modern, I mean more contemporary objects and very old ones. So for example, we have a bed that is actually turned into a sofa in our living room and it has a braconnier textile which is back from the 60s or the 50s and actually they don't produce it anymore. Or I have um, marquetry um, objects that are mixed with quite modern things so I think the mixture is great when you know how to you know put it together so here we're in the kitchen it's a typical uh, kitchen location of these Osmanian buildings and apartments so at the very end of the flat we didn't want to bring the kitchen so far um, you know, in front of the apartment. We wanted to keep it here. It's a bit uh, dark and you don't have so much light. So I wanted to bring light by using yellow again. Yellow that brings uh, a lot of joy. And we created this uh, roof, which is more like a tent and also like the rays of sunshine. So it gives me joy to be in the kitchen as I'm not a great cook. I just um, try to enjoy time in this room that I actually find quite lovely. So here we designed the tiles uh, again in green which is our favorite color and also to uh, remind the treillis, you know these wooden structures that you find in French gardens that are on here I put them on the floor and also here just, just to remind the aspect of gardens and the fact that you would feel basically in a little garden under a tent. And um, here we have a little spot for the breakfast. We just sit here, it's casual, it's cozy. I had made these cushions with um, fabric from the Marché Saint-Pierre, which is a, a, a big market where they have a lot of fabric. And it's just um, a cozy way to, to spend our mornings with our little dog. So here we have a couple of frames. This is our wedding invitation. This is also the wedding invitation. Here it's a menu from our engagement party and this is from our engagement in France where when we did a hot air balloon trip. And actually this is basically where I took my inspiration from for the flat because it's the recurring theme. It's these uh, treillis that show the Jardin à la Française and also added with uh, obviously palm trees and uh, this tropical theme. So I think this was a great inspiration for our flat. Here is the guest bathroom. 
which is inspired by India. So here with the wood carpenter, we managed to kind of redesign um, what you find in Rajasthan in typical beautiful palaces. So it's the shape of the windows there. Um, it's again scalloped edges, but it just has this feel of India where I spent a year and a half and I loved it. We chose this blue color, which is the Blue Majorelle from Morocco, because I think it's so vibrant and it's so, it reminds us all of, of Morocco. It's a tiny, tiny little bathroom, but I think it's cozy. I added these um, linen um, curtains just to have a feel of, you know, more intimacy if you want to close it. But it's just, um, it's just very tiny and cute. Home for me means a place where you feel safe, where, where you feel comfortable, where you feel happy, where it's a, yeah, it's a safe place. Um, for me, this is translated by, by colors, by joy, by um, hosting a lot of friends all the time. That's what we love with my husband. So for me, home is a place where people love coming and um, hanging out so and that's what they tell us when they're sitting in the dining room for hours they say we could stay until early mornings just chatting with the candles and everything so that's the most important for me i guess thanks for watching for more home worthy content be sure to like and subscribe